Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make this easy tripod vessel out of a single slab. To start this project out, I made a template that is 5 inches by 10 inches. And you could really make a template that is any size that you want. You probably just want to play around with a piece of, of paper and see what the general um, height and width you're um, looking to achieve is. I find that like 5 by 10 is a pretty good sized um, vessel if you wanted to make a cup. So um, I made this out of, out of just computer paper. Underneath here I have a clay slab that I've rolled out and I'm just going to put this template on top of that and you can see that the 5 inch height already matches up um, pretty well. So I'm just going to need to cut the left and right sides of this. probably isn't as neat of a cut as I would like to have, so I'm going to use a ruler just to make sure that it's nice and straight. All right, now that I have my five inch by 10 inch uh, rectangle, I'm going to um, be cutting the edges where it joins so that I have an overlap. If we just join the pieces together like this, the seam will be a little bit um, less stable than if we bevel the two edges. So on my piece of paper, I'm just going to show you kind of a side angle. We want to bevel this left hand cut at about a uh, 45 degree angle going this way. And then on the other side of our slab, we actually need to have it angled um, down. So in order to achieve that, we can actually uh, flip the clay slab. And that way when we um, fold the two sides together, they will overlap but at an angle um, so that it's a nice clean seam. So to do that, you just need to take your needle tool or um, a fettling knife if you have one or um, in my case a, a bamboo skewer. And I'm just going to angle that at about a 45 degree angle and I'm trimming off that edge. So if you can see, that gives me a nice 45 degree angle. So I need an undercut angle on the other side. So to do that, all I have to do is flip my slab over and cut that same angle on the other side, because uh, this is the bottom. And that way, when I bring my two sides together, you can see that they're, they're going to fit together um, with an overlap. So um, I still need to slip and score these two sides, uh, but you can see that that's, that's going to be a nice um, beveled seam. So let me go ahead and get my water so that I can slip and score these together. I'm just going to apply a good liberal amount of water to the first side of my bevel. I'm going to use this fork to score it. Okay, I need to do that on the other side of that bevel. Just water, good amount of water with your hand or fingers and then just using this fork. You could use a needle tool um, or bamboo skewer to score this. Okay. Now I'm going to bring those Two sides together. Just make sure that you're supporting it on the inside as well as the outside when you're pressing that seam together. Um, by doing this, it, it will give you a nice even lip rather than having a bulge or overlap where the two slabs come together. Okay. 
Okay, so this is going to be the top of my vessel. And so I'm going to flip that over. Uh, the reason why this is going to be the bottom of my vessel is that the um, slab just isn't quite as nice and trimmed. And for these tri tripod vessels, that doesn't really even uh, make a big difference. So to make the tripod shape, we're going to make a triangle with our hands and slowly start to press the bottom of this vessel into a triangle type shape. Now, if you have any separation in that seam that you just slipped and scored together, you can kind of press that back together because um, this is all still very soft. Okay, so now that I have that triangle shape, I'm just going to start to go in on the center of the straight edges. And slowly just keep pressing until these edges are almost completely together. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water to each of these sides and just run my fork in between those areas that are going to be joined together. If you're working with real soft clay, sometimes you can just press it together. Uh, but this will just ensure that you're going to get a good seam that's not going to want to separate or leak later on. Okay, so you're going to be left with a little bit of a hole at the bottom. And we're going to need to make a patch that is going to close up that bottom triangle that we're left with. So to do that, I'm just going to take part of my slab that was left over and I'm going to cut a patch. Um, I like to make a little um, rectangle or square. You could make a triangle. It's gonna look like this or you could make a little um, round ball but I'm going to be slipping and scoring that onto the bottom of my pot. So to do that, I'll just take that little small patch, my fork again, just to make sure I'm really scoring that. We'll pop that on the bottom, kind of smooth around the edges. And let's pick it up just to take a look. So now we've got a tripod base and I'm gonna let this firm up a bit uh, and then I'll flip it over and do some smoothing of the seams on the inside. And then we can play around with the shape of the body a little bit. Um, but right now I'm just gonna let this firm up for about 30 minutes or so. So it's had a little bit of time to sit and I'm going to flip it over to do a few things to it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit of water on my fingers and go around the lip of this, just to kind of smooth it out, even it out, make it a little bit thinner, um, not as square. I'm also going to go down the inside of this and just make sure that that inside seam is smoothed out. Some of those areas down at the bottom are a little bit hard to reach with my hand or finger, so I'm just going to use the back of this wooden modeling tool um, to help me smooth out those interior seams that are a little bit harder to reach with my fingers. So 
Um, at this point, the vessel could be done. Um, you could add a handle to it. If you wanted to make it a cup, you could add texture. I'm gonna show you how to change the body style. If you look at the sides, um, they're pretty straight right now. And what I'm going to do is take some water on my fingers on the inside and just kind of push out the walls in this area all around. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to Again, water on my fingers, and you want to do this very, very slowly. If you stretch out the walls too quickly, you could end up with cracking or splitting in the seam. And I like to equate it to skin. If skin stretches too quickly, you get stretch marks, um, and that can happen with the clay too. It can can stretch and crack. So you want to um, add water to your fingers while you're doing this and just push it out a little bit at a time and continue to work around. The edges, you can see I'm kind of using my hand to support this, this top area because I just want to push out the, the bottom of the body, give it a little bit of a belly. So now you can see how the, the body style has changed. It's not straight anymore, but it kind of has a little bit of a curve to it. So you can do that as much as you want. Um, you could have it curve the whole way up to the top, or you could have this part a little bit more flat. And there's a little bit of water down in the bottom of this from me doing that. And I just want to make sure that I pour that out. Um, and I like to allow these to dry upside down. So anything that you would want to add to the outside, um, a handle or um, any type of texture decoration you could do. And then when you're ready for it to start to dry, just flip it over and let it dry upside down. This allows the bottom to dry a little bit more evenly um, with the top of it. And here's an example of a tripod vessel with a handle added. It's got some texture and it's already been glazed so you can see what it would look like when it's all done.